WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finished down 31. Quite a, quite a, it, 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 the Dow had been down 125, folks. Ran it right into the close. Uh, NASDAQ. NASDAQ up 128. S&P's up 20. Gold contract up $31, trading at $17.94 an ounce. You had silver up 61 cents, $23.84 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck 81, $79.05 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10 year note traded down, traded up rather, 18 ticks at 131.11. The 30 year up 23 at 161.07 in King Dollar. King Dollar up 444 ticks, traded at 94.308. Euro at 115, yen at 113.70, and the British pound at 135 to 1 US dollar. We have the 10 year right now trading, uh, folks, at a yield of 1.51. It was a good move inside that bond market today. Uh, what that was all about, well, you had the Fed yesterday. So the bottom line is that the Fed yesterday is telling us flat out they're not looking to raise interest rates. They're out to 2022. And the Fed has stated the same thing every single time, folks. So the bottom line is that I think uh, many of us maybe thought that that might change a bit. Uh, my take is that it wouldn't change. The status quo would be there. Um, they're going to let this thing run. I mean, they're going to let it run in spades, too. And what you had happen out here today, the reason that you see that those bonds move so quick wasn't for our Fed. What that was was the Bank of England. Um, the consensus that the Bank of England was actually going to go up on rates, and the Bank of England kept rates the same. Now, what that did do is that that took the British pound lower. Uh, the pound had quite a move out here today. Uh, meaning uh, lower against the U.S. dollar. The pound went from a price point of 136.98, almost 137, down to 134.71. It closed out at 135.01. So it's going to be intriguing to see if whether it can hold this low. The low that's out there inside the pound is 131.12. Uh, gold, gold contract wants higher price. I uh, had a bid out there today. We did. We got the bid inside of the uh, gold equities, folks, but they didn't hold up. That being said, you get volume behind them. A GDX did 20 million shares out there. That's what you need. I expect we're going to be right back topside again. And what these gold and silver equities do look like to me, they look like they're ABC structures on the way up. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Have a great one. Have a safe one.